Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the four EMEA groups for Stage 3 of OWCS. There are 16 teams competing in the EMEA group stages. We're going to take a look at each of the four groups. I'm going to give you my general thoughts on the teams and the groups and share who I think moves on from each of those groups. So different from the Asia videos, if you watched those, a little bit of a different format here. I'm not going to break down each of the rosters uh, one by one, but I will kind of go through the teams and share my thoughts on them, uh, the ones that I think look the best and whatnot. And then, of course, later on, uh, once we have all of the groups finished and we have a bracket for the teams, of course, I will do that. So same as I did for the first two, but if you're uh, new or it's been a little while, you need a little refresher, that's how we're going to do it. So. Let's jump in and let's just get into it by starting off looking at Group A. You can see the four teams here. You have Space Station Gaming as the number one seed overall and the number one seed in this group. They locked in their spot through their number one overall finish back in Stage 2. And so they go here as the top seed here going forward. You then have the two seed in this group, Hypnos, who were the fourth overall seed in the Swiss qualifiers. Then you have Vendetta, who finished fifth in the Swiss, and then Ohana Aloha, who were the final team to qualify out of the Swiss bracket. So the way it works, uh, if you're not aware, just to kind of give a quick rundown, the top four teams in the groups, so the number one seed, uh, in, or the top seed in group A, group B, group C, group D, the top seed of each of the groups are the top four teams from stage two. So Space Station Gaming won stage two. They get the number one seed in group A. Entz, who got second place, got the top seed in group B, and so on and so on. Of course, we'll talk about those teams. And then because Space Station was the best team in stage two, they essentially get the easiest run here, where they get to play the, the fourth seed, the fifth seed, and the twelfth seed. So they're bracket their group is theoretically one of the easier groups of the groups in that kind of way so we'll talk about it more as we go on but just a bit of a rundown as you go that's what the numbers mean so you'll kind of see the way that they go it's not random they make sense it's just a matter of kind of getting into it, it, it it's hard to, to vocalize it but group a anyway here we go space station gaming is of course the favorite in this group they are the team that was the best team in stage two They've been pretty consistently the top team for the past little while here in the MEA. They were one of the top teams in Stage 1, though they didn't ultimately win it. They were the team that won Stage 2. They won the Face It Masters to qualify for Esports World Cup. So they've been on a pretty good run here in EMEA as of late. I don't expect them to really drop off here in this group. They are, of course, this team that is largely the roster from last year's London Spitfire, or the past couple of years' London Spitfire. They've been very, very good, so they should be the favorite to get out of this group. It comes down to which of the other teams is able to challenge them. I think the Hypnos and Vendetta rosters are probably the ones that will do it, one of those two. Uh, not a guarantee, but, you know, Ohana Aloha did have a pretty big upset win against... One of the teams, I'm drawing a blank on exactly who it was. I will check as I'm, as I'm kind of talking here, but I know there was a, a pretty big um, upset that they had uh, that was was pretty notable. So it's interesting to kind of see they did make it. They were one of the teams that, that was able to to get in and, and they were the overall kind of bottom seed to move on uh, from here, which is a pretty pretty big deal i believe it was a square tengu that they beat uh or no, sorry it was new age they beat new age uh in a pretty big game uh that that upset them and it ultimately resulted in them not moving on which is a pretty big deal they, they were a pretty solid team in the past couple of tournaments so they have done something they have a pretty good win under their belt rojo a player that is recognizable on this roster a lot of the players in this team i will say are not familiar names uh, but Rojo, very good team from the former Rock Esports roster. So seeing him compete here, pretty good thing to see. Uh, but I definitely think you're looking at either Hypnos or Vendetta moving on here. This Vendetta roster is made up of a lot of players who come from some other places that were pretty competitive. I think Crispy was playing 
if not on the Virtus Pro roster, at least played with some of those guys. Uh, level 1 Crook was on Peps slash Game and Gladiators. Hybrid, obviously old school London Spitfire Hitscan player. So these are all recognizable names if you've been following EMEA for a little while. So I feel pretty good about that team. Hypnos does have MCD on their roster, which is pretty notable. Uh, very solid player from the Overwatch League. Korean player has been in and on some pretty solid teams. So definitely a notable um, couple of names here. So I think it's definitely between the two of them. That's definitely what I would suspect happens is one of those teams is ultimately uh, victorious. I don't... Uh, give me a second. Uh, I don't remember if Hypnos played any of these teams. I know they lost to Virtus. I don't think they've played the teams in their group. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. I think I'm going to say Hypnos wins just barely. I think it really is a, a coin flip between Hypnos and Vendetta. They're very solid teams. One of them will ultimately take it, I think, over Ohana Aloha, but... I think it's really Space Station's the number one seed. Depending on what happens between the other two, it could go either way. But I would I would favor. I think I'd give the edge to Vendetta, but it's close. I think when you have a very solid Korean flex support on your team, uh, like Hypnos has, it can really elevate you. So I'll be curious to see what happens. But I would I would give the edge I think to Vendetta just slightly. But it's a 50-50, really, for those two. We under Group B. This is the group that is headlined by Ents. Then they are joined by Wasp X O No, Aw Yeah, and Meta Boys. So another group where we're getting some teams that f familiar faces, familiar names, obviously. Uh, Ents, lots of changes to their roster this go around. I know they had to make a coaching change. Uh, they no longer have. I mean, they no longer have, um, uh, oh, I can't remember his name. The guy that they had for a while. That's embarrassing. The guy just won Coach of the Year, too. I cannot believe I already forgot his name. Anyway, uh, they had Crimzo replace and take over the coaching role after, um, Gunba left. Uh, and then Crimzo took over, and Crimzo has now left as well. So, as far as I know, they don't have... Uh, head coach anymore, so I don't know what their plan is going forward, but they still have a lot of the same core. Obviously, they still have Crimzo, or self Kevster Kai, they added Mame 1, they still have Vestola and Chase, uh, they added Kellix to this team, they still have Skyrip and Masa, so there is a lot of the same pieces to this team. It's, it's going to be mostly um, the same roster. I still think they'll be fine. I still think they're easy favorites in this group. This Wasp X Ono roster, I did not get to watch a lot of the, um, or any of the group stages, so I don't really know a lot about them. They're an interesting team, for sure. Um, I'm curious to see what they were able to do, who they were able to beat. I'm not quite sure. I'm taking a look here uh, to see if they had any big, big wins. They beat SR Peak Check, which is a pretty good win. That was, that's, that's a pretty solid roster. Um... Who else can I see that they got wins against? They beat Alcadzia, I believe is how you pronounce it. So they actually have some pretty solid wins under their belt. I'm not really familiar with a lot of the players in, on this team, but they actually beat some really good teams, uh, or at least some some overall pretty solid teams at the very least. So they actually do have some, some pretty good wins under their belt. I think they probably should be favored to be the second team out of this group. Oh, yeah, is always so hard to tell because they are a team that really kind of lives and dies by their less um, common strategies. Uh, you know, they, they play their own style. They don't necessarily play meta all the time. They've they've been able to play meta at some times. But, you know, they, they will pull out uh, some other fun looks. Uh, you know, Kaiser been around the block. <laughs> He's been on this team for a while. Uh, obviously, some notable names on this team. It's been a pretty successful team, all things considered. Um, I believe they're the former. They used to. Kaya, was he the junk rap player? Is he, is he gone? 
That's unfortunate if he is. I guess he's moved away from, from playing into being... That's unfortunate. That he is he is no longer uh, one of the players. Now he's he's helping with the coaching. So I guess we'll maybe see uh, uh, more of a traditional style of play out of this Oye roster. But it's interesting. Meta Boy is another team that has been around for a little while. They're largely the Polish World Cup team, if not like entirely the Polish World Cup team. Um, so a pretty solid team. They've been able to make it, I think, to the past two. Uh, so stage two, stage three, I believe they made it to the group stage. So a pretty solid team. They're not a, a really, really good team, but they are a pretty solid team. Um, good to see them kind of repeating and, and, and showing some of that ability to, to return to the stage. I think it's probably going to be Ents and Wasp. I think based on the fact that just looking at some of the wins that Wasp got, we'll talk about some of the teams they beat. They beat some pretty solid teams and they beat them 2-0. So yeah. I, I don't really know a lot about this team. This is really the first time I've heard of a lot of these players. Um, I do recognize QRXU. He may have been on the World Cup. I don't know why I recognize that name. Um, but a lot of these players are not ones I'm super familiar with. But I think if you can get a, a solid kind of core together and you have some, some comfort picks and, and a couple good meta heroes under your belt, that can always help. Um, so I... I hope this team does well, because, I, like I said, I'm not familiar with them, um, but they're uh, they're an interesting team. So I, I'm going to pick them because I just don't really feel super confident about all yeah, meta boys otherwise, but I definitely think Ents, top team in this group, and then Wasp probably uh, is my, my second pick out. Next is Group C, and oh boy, this team is... Uh, this group is kind of nasty. This might be the group of death uh, on paper. There's a lot of very good players on this team, so uh, or in this group. So the the first team here is Gaming Gladiators, formerly Team Peps, now Gaming Gladiators. They got third back in stage two, so they get the uh, automatic uh, top spot here. Then you have Twisted Minds, who finished second in the Swiss bracket. They are here with their revamped roster. You have One Man Army as the third team here, and Al Kadzia here as the fourth team. I really think this group is kind of up in the air. Now, I say it's kind of up in the air. I do think there is a bit of a gap between Game of Gladiators, Twisted Minds, and Aoma and Al Kadzia, but I don't necessarily think it's impossible for a team like Aoma, when you have Top Dragon on your team to be able to compete, Top Dragon's a pretty good player. Uh, Theo Madison, pretty good so far this year. Donghoon has impressed me. Uh, obviously, he did not have a long Overwatch League career, but he was pretty solid uh, when he did get the chance to play. So there's some good players on this roster that could potentially swing the tide of a game in their favor. Now, I don't recall... I believe Game of Gladiators qualified through Esports World Cup over Twisted Minds. Twisted Minds eventually made it in, but I think they may have beaten them. This version of Twisted Minds roster is very interesting. They have a Korean support line. They added Bliss and Vigilante, um, and then they have still a lot of the same core um, in terms of their DPS. They bring in TVNT, who was formerly on um, Rock Esports, so... Still a Saudi Arabian core, mostly, with a couple of Korean players. I think this is a this Twisted Minds roster should be more in form with what we saw from them in Stage 1. Obviously, no more KSA and now a Korean support line. So, I don't think this team is too different. I definitely think they are still one of the top teams. But, they were not able to win the Swiss bracket, which is something of note. I think uh, something certainly to keep an eye on. I've been very impressed by what we've seen from this Game of Gladiators roster. Specifically, I think Exodile has been unbelievable, or Exodial, however you pronounce it. So, I think Game of Gladiators should be a pretty solid pick to win this group. I think it will ultimately be Game of Gladiators and Twisted Minds. But I really don't want to sleep on Aoma. And this Alkadzi roster, I don't know a lot of these players. I remember, I recognize Haku and Sile and Psycho, they've been around. 
Uh, Haku, I think, was on Twisted Minds once upon a time, formerly under the name Nutella. Um, he also was on the Saudi Arabian World Cup team, but I think he was on Twisted Minds too at one point. Sile's in around. Psycho's been, he's been, he was in NA, now he's in the MEA. Um, but the other Saudi Arabian players I don't recognize on this roster. Um, so I, I'd be shocked if they were to get in over Twisted Minds, which I think is just the better Saudi roster. Um, but I don't even know if, if Twisted Minds is, is the top team in this group. They might be better than Game of Gladiators right now. I don't know. Uh, obviously, Game of Gladiators didn't have to play in the Swiss stage. Um, and there's been some changes for some of these rosters since Esports World Cup and Face It Masters. So they're not exactly the same. So I'm curious to see what happens. But I, I would say it is the top two that move on from this one more likely than not. Finally, we have Group D, which is a really, really interesting group. This is actually probably the true group of death because this group looks absolutely bonkers. The top here, you have X Oblivione. Should be noted, this is the X Oblivione roster uh, that was formerly Peace and Love, and then they became R8 Esports, and then they became X Oblivione. So um, it is a it is a different team than the previous X Oblivione that got second or third whatever it was back in um stage one not the same core very 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 different roster uh from that one uh but some of the same players are on this team obviously like ailsu was on that peace and love roster he is still here uh lauren was there is still present kaiba still present uh their support line is different uh abik is a substitute now instead of a, a starter but is still there uh, and they've made some other changes. So this is a new version of that former Peace and Love roster. Uh, and it is a different roster to the previous EXO rosters. So just make sure you understand that. You remember that. You have Virtus Pro, which was Ataraxia, I believe, previously. Now they're Virtus Pro. Then you have Super Shy. They're back from their Stage 2 and near nearly made it in Stage 1. Made it to the main event in Stage 2. Uh, they are back, meaning for a spot. And then you have SR Peak Check, which have returned after their... Uh, SR Peak Check, of course, was the team that became Ents. And now a different version of this team with some of the same pieces, like LH Cloudy, Ghost91, um, are back and competing, and they made it here. So this is a very tough group uh, and a very competitive group. I would put Virtus Pro as the favorite in this group. Uh, I know they're technically the two seed in this group. They did just win the Swiss stage, and they were really good in Face It Masters and really good at Esports World Cup. They did very well at both of those tournaments. So if you want to go, you know, since stage two of OWCS, where this ex roster, formerly Peace and Love, had a pretty good run. Since that point in time, Virtus Pro has been among the best teams in Europe and, and EMEA, and even in other kind of tournaments as well. When they played, uh, you know, international competition, this team has been very, very solid. Really good core. Shockwave and Sauna, two phenomenal DPS players. Rajaro, not a huge name I'm super familiar with, but he's been playing very well. He's been a big part of this team's success. And then you have the support line where you have Gala and Canale who have been playing very well. Spain, they were kind of surprisingly a really solid team in the, the World Cup last year, the Overwatch World Cup. So this is a team that's been very, very good. I think they are probably the favorites in this group. Then you have really a competition for that second team. I think Ex Livione should be the team out. They are a team that did very well in Stage 2. Obviously, they have made some changes. Not exactly the same roster, but still an overall very good team. But I think Super Shy and SR Peak Check can both push them. I would not be shocked if every single game in this group went to 4 or 5 maps. I think there is just a lot of really good... Uh, there's a lot of really good players in this group. Very close competition. I think there is a ton of potential 
for any of these teams to move out of this group. I would not be shocked if anyone moved out, right? Virtus Pro to me is the only team that feels like a lock to move on. I think it's possible anybody else could move on. We saw Super Shy play very, very well back in stage two. They surprised me even. They did better than I expected, and I thought they were still a pretty solid team. Um, so that was huge, um, and they played really, really well. So um, I'm really interested to see what this is going to happen with this group because it is fascinating to see just how much we've seen this group uh, a lot of these teams and a lot of these players compete with each other and against each other. So I'm going to say it's Virtus and EXO out of this group because I think they're the two best teams, but it truly is very, very close. This is by far my favorite group in this region for this tournament. I think it's so close. It's super competitive and it'll be really, really fun to watch uh, to see what happens. But I feel like it's going to be a good time and we're all in for a treat with EMEA. I have been a huge fan of EMEA uh, as of late. Uh, EMEA is kind of the best um, region right now just because of how good a lot of the teams have been. It's been super competitive and super close and I'm really excited for EMEA to kick off. So that's my thoughts on these groups. Let me know your opinions and your thoughts in the comments down below. Where you agree, where you disagree with me, I'd love to hear from you. EMEA, really fun region. I have not been following it as closely as maybe some of you have as of late. So maybe some of you have some uh, some opinions that I, I don't, I'm not aware of that would change some things. So let me know any of those thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video and want more like it in the future, consider liking and subscribing as your support does help out a lot with the channel but that's going to be all for me for today so thank you all once again hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy and until next time bye bye